Okay, Paul from AMPM here, and I'm over in No Inc. I had a call for a roof repair back here on this front right corner of the roof there. You can see maybe that there's some singles that were blown off and we're right on the water here, so, so that's going to be pretty common. So I'm going to go up there and uh, check things out, and it's uh, right about there. Okay, so this is what I'm taking with me when I go up there to do my repair. I've got this uh, nice cushion that I've got in the street here. That's to keep me from slipping off the roof. And then if you look at my get up here, I've got the tool belt, I've got the caulk gun, you've got your flat bar, and you've got your hammer. And I do this basically because this belt is just too big for me. So I try to stuff as much stuff as I can in the belt and kind of keeps everything tight to my body. Oh, nails in my back pocket as well. Okay, so usually when I get up on the roof like this with this kind of a pitch, I like to have my cushion down there at the bottom and as much as much stuff that I can uh, put as kind of a staging area like behind this chimney here for instance. I'll put all my tools and everything or most of it and uh, go down there and kind of travel light. The less uh, stuff that you could possibly get caught up on and um, potentially get hurt, uh, the, the, the better. Okay. Okay, so I'm back up here on top of the roof in Noank. You can see the beautiful view behind me here. This is what I get to work with when I come out and do these repairs on the water. That's great. Um, okay, let me just show you over here. Problem where a shingle a shingle blew off. Um, fix it. Okay, so here we are on top of the roof. That's what it looks like from here to the ground. Okay, so here are the missing shingles. I've got to clean up uh, what's what's existing here. So you lift this shingle up, and you'll see that we've got to clear out some nails here. So we're going to have to take out this shingle here, but in order to do that, we're going to have to take out, lift up the nails from here. So lift this one up and take these nails out because this, the top of this shingle is actually nailed up here. So it's not just pulling this one out, you got to come up a couple courses, pull the nails out of there and then pull this down. Okay, so now, as you can see, lifted up these shingles, cleared all these other ones out. So now this is going to be nice smooth surface here. I can uh, start from the bottom and start laying my, my first course of shingles and we'll uh, see in a bit. Okay so first thing I did is I took this, took a full shingle and flipped it this way, set it into place which is about right there and I made my cut. Now I can flip it over and nail it. Okay. show you guys step by step but this is the best I can do right now 30 feet in the air okay so this is what it's gonna look like underneath the shingles you, you know it doesn't have to look pretty just make sure that these nail heads right here are covered completely and then I usually just run a, a whole line up top and up bottom just for extra stickiness okay so another important step in this process is when you're doing a repair like this you always want to make sure that you're caulking these nails because you know the shingles aren't going to stick right away because it's a repair plus you're weaving new with old here and this bonding strip that's underneath the shingles once you break that it's no good so you really need a good product I use uh, GeoSeal 2310 okay so here is your nail pattern people okay you've got one on the edge here and you go about six to seven inches usually better Okay, so you get one, two, two, one down there. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you why hitting this nail line right here, this, this blue, in between these two blue lines here is so important. If you look, at, if you look in between these two shingles here, you'll see that the bottom shingle comes up to this top blue line here. So when you're nailing on this line, you're catching this shingle and you're catching the shingle underneath it. If you look up here, if you nail 
too high in this uh, past this nail nail zone here you're not nailing into this lower shingle here and your shingles are just gonna blow off if you go too low you're gonna have what's called an exposed nail and that's gonna cause a leak okay repair is complete and I'm gonna show you what it looks like remember what it looked like before here's the after photo Beautiful. Can't even tell. Can't even tell the rain shooters blown off. I'm good. Okay. That's it for today's episode of This Old Roof. Tune in next week when we try to shingle a birdhouse.